Wednesday Rights, Anonymous here again with another camp edition of Training Hall. With me today again is Connor, one of our campers. So let's get to it. Um, one of the things that often comes up in sabering is how this is like and how it is dislike things, more conventional sword play and all of that kind of thing. And um, there are many, many, many differences um, as far as that goes. But one of the major differences is the lack of a guard. Now, this is a Dark Dialus here, and it does have a little bit of a guard, a Suba style guard. But it's not a big kind of cross guard, something like that, with uh, like in a long sword or, or, or something like that. So in order to, because of that, the hands become a very, very easy target, right? And um, since we don't have generally a guard, in front of our hand, and even when we do, it's not necessarily huge. There's a couple of things that we have to do instead that uh, will help us, you know, keep getting our hands safe. And one of them is moving the hands around, right? So moving in in positions like from guard to guard, right? Just making sure that. When you move, your hands are moving as well as your blade. If you stay right in the middle and just kind of do this, it, it tends to leave these open for attack, you know, a whole lot, right? So, <clears throat> if we square off here, and he's just standing here, I can pretty, pretty much hit his hands with impunity if he doesn't do anything. Now, even if he just kind of swats my my uh, saber to the side, okay? That can get him a little bit, but notice if he doesn't move his hands, I'm still right there. So what he's gonna do is when he blocks or parries, he's going to parry and then raise his hands or, or move his hands somewhere to make them harder targets. So that when I come down here and then go for his hands, they move. The same thing with me. He comes for my hands. And so a lot of the stuff you'll see is us kind of going for each other's hands, right? And that necessitates the skill of being able to move the saber, change the position, right? And essentially keep this moving. So a lot of the Dulan have very, very active blade work, lots of little flourishes and all that kind of stuff, and that's really the purpose of it. A lot of them come from Chinese um, swordplay, which also has a very minimal guard. Um, Japanese swordplay has a minimal guard. There's a lot of things that have a minimal to no guard at all, and they usually accomplish it the same thing, usually through positions, using blade work. Um, if he comes in with an overhead strike, one thing I can sort of do with this guard here is stop it with my blade up in the air, okay, in which case there. Now that's a very common conventional sword technique because you're, you're, even with a minimal guard, you can catch that blade, right, and lift it up. We can't do that usually in sabering. He won't be able to do that. So if he goes straight up for mine, I come right down to his hands, right? So instead, what he has to do is as it comes in, he has to lift up and move those hands around so that, nice, he can move his hands out of the way and try to get mine. And as you see, as it went through, we're trying to get, them, get each other to open up our hands and then we just reach out and touch it. Probably one of the highest percentage strikes you're going to find in Sabre um, is that hand strike. So, um, you know, very in kind with, with uh, Star Wars and Luke and, and Vader and all that. Everybody likes, everybody gets, um, ends up losing their hands um, or head. So, there you go. Don't lose your hands. Don't lose your head. Um, always wear gloves. Just so you know, um, <clears throat> we're just demonstrating here. If you're doing this for practice, always wear eye protection. Um, but again, keep 
those hands moving keep the saber active and don't kind of park it in one spot because you end up becoming a sitting duck. So, just a little bit of advice, a uh, little quick tra um, training haul here. So, thank you again to Connor. Uh, thank you for all tuning in. Uh, so long from Lightsaber Camp. Have a great week and happy sabering.